Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, for hosting this hearing, and thank you, Chair Gensler, uh, for joining us today. Um, I want to take a few minutes to discuss stock buybacks. Now, during the pandemic, uh, I and, and many others on this committee and beyond introduced uh, pieces of legislation either banning the practice of stock buybacks uh, or regulating them in, in a broad uh, kind of spectrum of possibility. And one of the issues that I had brought up was actually banning the practice of stock buybacks for any corporation receiving public uh, assistance essentially getting bailed out uh, and while also mandating workers be granted an equity stake or the public being granted an equity stake in any of those kinds of public uh, buy-ins to those companies. Now, I wanna dig into this issue a little bit more. Um, now, for folks I think following at home, stock buybacks in general is this practice, would you say it's fair to describe stock buybacks as the practice of a company using its profit or margin uh, to purchase shares of its own stock as opposed to other uses of its margin, like investing in raising wages, research and development, et cetera? If I could just broaden it out, I think the companies that use dividends and stock buybacks both have made some decision to uh, send money out of the company to, to, to their shareholders or buy back their shares rather than investing. I think. I think it's usually a two-step process. One decision is whether to invest, as you say, more in the fact is the innovation and so forth, or send it out to shareholders. And then usually a second decision, whether to do it through dividends or share buybacks. Thank you so much, uh, Chair Gensler. And what we saw during the pandemic was that some of these same corporations that spent about $6.3 trillion on stock buybacks between 2010 and 2019, also denied their workers hazard pay, personal protective equipment, claiming that it was too expensive. Um, now, on top of that, production of medical equipment uh, that was necessary during the pandemic was also delayed due to many years of underinvestment, uh, in part in research and development from these companies that were using it to using some of their funds to purchase uh, to purchase their own stock instead. Uh, would you agree that stock buybacks make no real contribution to the productive capabilities of a firm? Well, again, I mean, both dividends and stock buybacks are a way that management and boards uh, uh, send money out of the company to shareholders. Mm -hmm. And so th there is, as you say, some trade offs between that and what they're investing. If they, they but we, our role at the SEC is to make sure that we bring transparency to these these considerations. Of course, uh, those of you in Congress, you know, might, might debate whether to change that those those mm -hmm. rules. But we try to bring transparency and ensure that there's not fraud or buybacks in in circumstances where uh, the company has insider information and the like. Thank you. Uh, now, President Reagan's SEC adopted Rule 10B18, which limits stock buybacks under certain volume, broker, and timing conditions. Though the amount that a large company can spend on buybacks on a daily basis under this rule is often in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, conforming to these conditions allows a company entry to a quote unquote safe harbor. Does the SEC actively monitor whether corporate buyback activity remains within its safe harbor? So uh, you raise a good point. It relates to earlier debates about resources, but we, we try to use our resources across the agency to ensure for compliance with uh, the laws. I've asked staff in terms of stock buybacks, could we also use some authorities that were put in place under Dodd-Frank about the disclosures? So uh, I, I apologize, Chair Gensler, but does that mean, is that a, is that a no due to resource issues? Um, it, the SEC does not actively monitor? We, 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 we pursue, I, I wanna say it, uh, it, 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 it's more nuanced than that. We okay. pursue and we use the, the enforcement and examination and corporate finance staff to look at what we can, um, but there's 7,000 okay. public companies in the US. Will, understood. Will the SEC, would the SEC consider rescinding Rule 10B18 and issuing new guidance that clearly states that corporations may be held liable for stock buybacks that constitute potential market manipulation? 
So I think it's clear right now that if it's market manipulation, you can be held accountable. What I've asked the staff to do is to look more broadly because we could we have new authorities uh, under Dodd Frank to to actually get more transparency in this area as well. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.